Right, welcome back. So this is part three of my fast GPS testing. Uh, and um, so I've looked at the M10Q from Matic and the M10 Micro from Honeybro. Uh, and then I also had an M10, sorry, not an M10, an M9N Micro from Honeybro. So it's the same form factor as the M10 but a slightly older uh, uh, rev. And um, I've got my log here and you'll see that uh, uh, this is a, oh no, wrong log. So we're gonna drop that one. Pull this guy over. Right, so this is the M9 log. So we can see on the map, slightly different pattern. So I was flying in this field down here before and I'm flying this field here. And slightly shorter legs. Um, and if I look at the accelerations, if I look at the IMU here, uh, Z in particular because sort of we're flying almost vertically. You can see I'm getting to six G's just about at points um, so high and I'm well above the four G kind of limit that I'm looking for. Uh, but if you remember from the last log, previous one I was getting sort of up to seven G's, a little bit less aggressive this, but still aggressive enough for a decent a decent test and in the same way so if I have a look at first off speed accuracy and uh, vertical position accuracy these are the ones that seem to struggle so you can see this is on the M9 and and you can see that uh, get this big drop in speed accuracy it's probably on the first turn here um, so we can actually just zoom in a little bit and let's zoom this guy I think All right so that look that's on that first leg that first leg is this one so on this long leg was where the speed accuracy drops off. Um, and uh, you can also see that the vertical position accuracy gets progressively worse here and then when we, we and then sort of gradually recovers. And then horizontal position accuracy also similarly bad to vertical pollution a little bit better so within a meter whereas the speed accuracy is sort of gets down to two meters uh, accuracy and we can compare these with so it's still you know it's still coping uh, and we can have a look at the corresponding EKF innovations if we look at the velocity variance here so you can see spikes in the velocity variance but still um, the highest it gets is 0.55-ish. Um, not quite sure what this one is here because uh, this is the auto run here. So you can see spikes in the auto run here for the velocity variance. So below one is what we want for the EKF to be happy. Position variance is actually better. So you can see spiking at about 0.33 or something. And then the height variance in a similar range, 0.4 five uh, so all pretty respectable really um, uh, certainly uh, a very respectable GPS for this kind of challenge um, and if just as a reminder if we have a look at how the M10Q is doing uh, 
first off we can have a look at the innovations so velocity innovations yeah okay so like we're, we're pretty much above getting to above one on the velocity innovations there position innovations similarly high height innovations again similarly high so so the the that secondary gps using the m10q is really struggling in this environment um, so if I just, as a reminder, switch back to the log for the M10, we'll just, uh, okay, here's the M10. And just as a reminder, so here we've got height accuracy, velocity accuracy, speed accuracy, so you can see touching two meters for the velocity accuracy speed is down at 1.3 uh, versus the other one um, let's just get rid of these Whereas the other one was spiking to two, but then in the sort of normal case around 0.75. So comparable, um, but uh, I prefer not to have that spike to two. Much better to have these sort of lower, these higher speeds. And then similarly, the innovations here, if we have a look at the innovations, position, height velocity okay so we still we're in um, we're in good shape the velocity innovation is gets 0.75 so it's getting higher but remember we're going very fast we've got higher excels the velocity innovation on the m9 is hitting 0.95 but more often, I would say. So um, uh, it's 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 probably much of a muchness, but given that the M10 micro here is being stressed more than the M9, and the performance is is fairly similar, I'm going to sort of come down on the side of the M10 micro. That seems to be marginally the better one of these two i would say although you know both very very good and much better than the the uh, puck with the smaller smaller size um so yeah very very promising um so i say m10 micro is still my best uh, uh my favorite so far uh but m9 and micro pretty good and i've just got the f9p to test so Thank you for watching.